Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this video of uh, weekly talks, I'm going to take up uh, one topic that uh, quite a few of you were asking me and that is between MediaTek processors and uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon processors and uh, which is actually better. And by the way, I'm recording it uh, with the HTC 10 and I also have this uh, Rode Lavalier mic because if there is wind, I might switch to this uh, one. So let's uh, start talking about this. And this HTC 10 has optical image stabilization uh, via the front facing camera. So I'm just walking to see if it, uh, how's the video? Again, looks like the exposure is a little bit of a problem. So I'll just mount it over a tripod and then we'll continue. So I'm back. Yes, uh, the uh, Snapdragon is a giant and also other mobile processors that you see on Android phone is uh, what do you say the MediaTek but these are not the only two for example Apple uh, makes their own A9 A, A, A lineup of uh, processors that they use on their iOS devices uh, even Samsung you uh, makes their own Exynos but they are mostly restricted to Samsung uh, 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 smartphones uh, we also have some other vendors but they are out of the picture so the uh, two uh, major players that you generally see if you buy an Android phone is uh, those are powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon processor or the MediaTek processor. The interesting thing is that uh, both these uh, chipsets uh, uh, use the ARM, uh, uh, what do you say, architecture and in fact ARM licenses them. In fact, it's a little bit strange. ARM actually does not make their own processors. They give the license, the blueprints, etc. to these companies, which in turn actually make the processors. And it's a little bit different how they go about it. For example, for MediaTek, they generally just take the ARM's license and the blueprints and they just start manufacturing the processors. They generally do not do a lot of tweaking and additional, uh, what do you say, work on that processor. And even in terms of GPU, uh, they use the ARM's uh, own Mali GPU in most of their processors. I wouldn't say uh, all MediaTek processors are bad or something like that. Uh, but yes, uh, there are some differences. For example, uh, the, what do you say, uh, what was that? Uh, the MediaTek Helios X10 processor was a pretty good processor uh, used in a lot of mid-range phones and it had actually good performance. But one place where MediaTek falls short compared to what do you say Qualcomm based processors is that generally MediaTek processors when you push them heat up a lot and also in terms of battery life uh, the Qualcomm co uh, counterparts do get uh, better battery life also when it comes to GPU performance uh, generally uh, the uh, GPU used on Snapdragon processors that's the Adreno processor is a bit more powerful and most of the top tier games are optimized for the Adreno uh, GPU that's made by uh, Qualcomm. So what does Qualcomm actually do different compared to MediaTek? Yes, again they license uh, the, the processor architecture for example that might be Cortex A53, A72 or whatever. They just don't directly use it on their processor but they work on that and they add additional functionality, optimize it. That's why the performance is a little bit different. And also the GPU that is used on Snapdragon is the Adreno processor. They don't use the uh, Mali uh, GPU uh, that is given by ARM. So that's the difference and uh, the major differences that you will see is generally uh, the uh, uh, what do you say uh, Snapdragon Qualcomm processors uh, get slightly better battery life and also in terms of heating it does heat up quite a little uh, bit less compared to the MediaTek processors when you start pushing it and that might not be an issue in uh, other countries where the ambient temperatures are not that high but uh, in uh, countries like India where the ambient temperature is really high uh, generally uh, users with MediaTek uh, processors complain about uh, major heating issues because of that reason. Also, uh, but one thing is that uh, it's very similar to the Intel and AMD fight that we saw uh, in last decade. Intel came out as the winner because they were more powerful. They had a lot, lot of money. That's the same case right now with Qualcomm versus MediaTek. And Qualcomm actually knows that their processor and chipsets are pretty good. Hence, they charge a sort of a premium. Hence, uh, you see that uh, the Qualcomm Snapdragon processors are generally on almost high-end devices, uh, whereas the MediaTek processors uh, are generally on the lower end and to sort of mid-range uh, devices. It's just the price factor, guys, uh, because the MediaTek uh, processors, uh, SOCs, cost a lot less compared to the similar performing uh, Qualcomm-based processors. Uh, so, yeah.
the Qualcomm processors do perform a little bit better, uh, I would say, in terms of battery life, and also they heat up a little bit. So again, you have to decide. But again, if you are on a very tight uh, budget, uh, I don't think so you'll find a great, uh, what do you say, Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. For example, uh, Qualcomm has this and Snapdragon 200 lineup of processors which are extremely affordable but they are sort of junk. Hence many of the manufacturers in the ultra low budget generally tend to use the MediaTek processor. But when we move up the uh, what do you say price range, uh, most of the manufacturers would prefer uh, the what do you say uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. So I hope this uh, video makes sense. So yeah, indirectly you will pay a little bit more for a Qualcomm Snapdragon based processor but you would get slightly better performance, better battery life and less heating compared to most of the other MediaTek uh, based processor. So again guys, I hope this uh, video was uh, helpful. Again, uh, do suggest me some of the other topics for next week's uh, weekly tech talks. I hope you like it. Uh, and if you're not subscribed to this uh, YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.